What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Actually, kind of cool South Georgia. Got the door down. Can y'all feel the heat coming off of that? Whew. I just turned it off so you'd be able to hear me. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about that. You can't run it while you... I mean, you can't video while you're running it, so... Yeah, in case anybody's wondering, shop looks about like it always has. <laughs> uh, just throwing that out there, man. Love it. Uh, so, I got a new tool here, and uh, we're about to do an unboxing on it, and um, yeah, mainly an unboxing. We might... Uh, now the dog on water system wants to run. I can't win for losing, man. Ain't that the way the old saying goes? Can't win for losing. All right, so let me see if I can get y'all set up here. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see the way this is. All right, here we go. Whatever you can see, you can see. I think that's just a way old kick, don't Maybe it'll kick off in a second. By the way, If you read the title, I probably already told you what's in here. <laughs> ah, look at here, man. We got some tires. Huh? Tire. That's nice. Always nice to have a tire. Oh, we got two tires. Huh? I got me one of those little mini bikes, man, because the, the, uh, the Titan burns so much fuel, you know. <laughs> uh, Y'all know better than that, man. All right. Uh oh. Another sticker. Ballard. Changing the game. Y'all know where it come from now. Man, you got all kind of pieces. All right, I'm going to have to get all this unloaded. Ooh, that's heavy. Show y'all what we got, man. Empty box. Woo! All right, let me get all this stuff opened up and then I'll put y'all back on camera. All right, uh, so we got the Ballard Super Jack. Um, game changer. I think we're gonna see, I really think this will make a difference on changing blades. I mean, right now I currently just run it up on the trailer and change them, uh, but you have to go up on one side, get under there, change two blades, go on the other side, change the other blade. So I'm thinking with this right here, probably in 15 minutes, you know, I can probably change the blades on three or four mowers, whatever I'm having to do. So uh, definitely think this is going to save me some time during the season. Obviously, I got green, man. Clean and green, dude. You know I had to. So anyway, uh, they got a little diagram in there. Looks like it shows you how this goes together. Uh, really doesn't show you any steps that I can tell, but... I don't think it'll really be that hard. Um, you know, it looks to be a pretty well laid out diagram. I got uh, six of the uh, half inch bolts, six of the half inch nuts, three half inch washers. Looks like four to quarter inch washers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Four nuts, four bolts, a couple of cotter pins. So. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm going to set you up here, and we're going to try to put this thing together. So, 
Uh, again, I'm not uh, not a professional at this. Never done this before. So we're just going to kind of uh, go through the process and and I'm going to kind of do what I think we need to do. And and I hope that uh, we'll be able to ca capture, capture this on the camera. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put the... Uh, See what I mean when that thing's on? When that thing's on, you can't hear anything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the handle on. Uh, handle goes on the top here. Does it go inside? No, it goes outside. Man, I'm gonna hate to scratch this thing up when I start using it. Alright, so that goes on there, and that's going to be these quarter inch, and these are carriage bolts, so it has a little, uh, you can kind of tell where they go, the carriage bolts got the little uh, square head on it, they drop down from the top. washer on and a nut Turn the wrong way. All right, so it goes like that. So, I'm having a think, man. I'm having a think. All right, looks. Obvious that this goes in here. Looks like with a washer. And with a washer on the back side. Not even 100% sure, sure this is right, so. What's throwing me off a little bit is this top hole's not lining up. Huh. I guess I just have to put it in like that. So what I did is I left it a little loose. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about in case you get one of these and run into this. See that right there? It's not perfectly lined up. So, but if you leave it loose, you can kind of put it in at an angle. So I think we'll be fine doing that. See if I can put y'all down here. That might help. No, that's all crooked. 
So if you leave that one loose, you put the washer on the top, you can't get a washer on the bottom because it's too tight. I will tell you one thing. This bad boy is built like a tank, man. It is, it is heavy. See how that sits? See that gap? But this is actually beveled. So it creates that. I guess that's just how it's supposed to be, so. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere, but. All right, then the next thing we need to put on is we're gonna put on our, it's like we could put on our brake and let's see here. This is the brake. I think I need that to go to the inside though. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Okay. So I put the wrong arm on over here. Once I get it on here, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you how it's supposed to be, man. Not how I did it. I'll show you how it's supposed to be. That's what y'all want, right? The picture is a... Uh, you know, not the best diagram in the world, but... At the same time, it's not super hard to figure out, so... Uh, most people, now you, you got to remember, I'm trying to do this in real time. Most people that are going to order something to change their own blades on their lawnmower are at least a little bit mechanically inclined, right? If you're not mechanically inclined at all, You're probably not going to order one of these. I wish I could show you how I'm putting this together, but it's just impossible with the amount of hands I have. All right, so this is what you're looking for. That is going in between this base and this lift arm. Uh, if, if you're at the end that you would be, so the handles down here, these plastic pieces point back. That may scratch some under your deck, but that's to keep from scuffing up the outside of your deck. And I thought that's the way they were supposed to be. But when you look at the picture, it almost looks like the straight up pieces, which are these right here. Um, okay. Yeah, it does have it like that. All right. I just looked at it wrong. So the straight up piece, the slant pieces are going back to the handle. So it is right. Okay. I just, uh, I just, uh, looked at something wrong there. So anyway, that's on me, on me, make a correction. So you can put, uh, you want this angle to the front here because you could put this one up here and it would look the same, but see your angle would be to the inside, not to the outside, if that makes sense, so. All right, and on the other side, it doesn't look like we have to mount anything with it. It just goes on. It does have some adjustment on it, some angle, uh, a slot in there, I guess if you needed to adjust it. I'm just going to put them straight up and down for what I'm doing. Uh, you can also mount, you can also mount one of these over here. If you've got, say, a 36, and you can actually put one here and just use one. So, 
there are some options. While we got this around on the side, we will go ahead and drop a tire on. And the tire, no washer, no nothing. Uh, show you this right here. The tire just slides on. You want to put the long part to the back, the long part of the hub. And it looks like, see this has some adjustment on it too. And it looks like I need to take it all the way in and close up that gap. Because it's hitting the back side of the tire right now. So, all right, now I'm going to take the slide tire back on. See, a while ago, my tire was hitting this, which is still touching it, but that's actually, it's just barely touching it. But you're not running this thing down the road. That's not going to really matter. Uh, and it's probably going to work itself to the outside anyway. I mean, again, this is just something. All you're doing is sliding this under the machine, lifting up the machine. So, um, I got to get me. I'm just doing that temporarily. I thought I had some... Uh, I think I got my needle nose in the house where I was doing a project. So again, you don't you don't have to bend these a whole lot. Some people will bend them all the way around. And if you want to do that, that's fine. But that's not coming out there. Uh, if you do them like that, and you ever had to take it off, you could get it back off without. Uh, and you still be able to use the same carter pin. All right. So let's see if we can get this bad boy turned around here. Actually, I'm not even going to turn it around until I get this on. And we got two washers, two nuts, and two bolts left. Okay, no, it would be the bottom. Okay, that's part of the reason why I wanted to turn it over is because, uh, when it's upside down, it's kind of hard to tell. Man, I'm already at 29 minutes, and this is on the second part of the video. 
very good fit and finish. Love it, man. So, yeah, I guess that's just kind of so you can just kind of push it under. Then you come back, you lay it down like that. Then you got the wheel lock. And to be honest, that feels a little feels a little flimsy, but I guess it's made to take. Uh, I guess it's made to be flexible a little bit, so it can kind of dig into the tire. So there we go. There we have it. Um, that is the assembly of it. Again, very good fit and finish. Uh, uh, probably took me 30 minutes to put together so anyway that's gonna be it for this video just simply assembly i'm gonna do another video talk about why i got it and uh some more stuff about it so anyway appreciate you taking time to watch i hope this helps somebody uh man i'm already getting dirt on it already got scratched up how about that that sucks but anyway it's a tool man so uh Anyway, appreciate you watching the video. Hope it helped somebody. Maybe uh, got you thinking about getting one or whatever. Be looking for the next video that comes out on the Super Jack because uh, I'm going to talk kind of about why I bought it, how I think it's going to help me, and uh, some of those things. So appreciate you tuning in. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.